Chapter one of Proverbs opens with a dad, King Solomon, giving instructions to his son. Now Solomon, who was and is known for being the wisest person on earth, implores his son to seek value and wisdom and to be teachable. He challenges him and us to seek out wisdom at all costs. As the chapter ends, he gives some firm words for the fool who chooses folly over wisdom. This whole chapter points out that passivity of not following God's wisdom is just as wrong and foolish as actively pursuing sin. The theme of the whole book of Proverbs comes out of Proverbs 1-7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of the Lord refers to how we view God and how we give Him the respect that He deserves. It means living our lives in light of what we know of Him, holding Him and His truths in high regard and depending upon Him with humble trust. Only then will we discover true knowledge and wisdom. The wisdom contained in the book of Proverbs is as meaningful today as when it was written. It tells us how to order our values, which leads to godly character, which leads to wholeness, which leads to blessing. I'd like to pray for your time. Heavenly Father, we just ask for blessings upon this time. Thank you for each and every person uh, that is watching this and wanting to read Proverbs. Would you grow each of us as we read and gain more knowledge? We do not want to be like the fools. We want to be the wise. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So please read Proverbs chapter 1. And may you be so, so blessed over these next 31 days of walking through Proverbs.